okay so now we have a topic compilers and interpreter we are on chapter number 5 as level computer science so we already know that compilers and interpreters are the type of translators which are used to convert our high level language into machine code programs written in a high level language can be either translated into machine code by a compiler program or a directly executed line by line using an interpreter program in o level computer science we have already discussed that compiler can translate the whole program at once an interpreter translates one line at a time isn't it so once we are using compiler it means our whole program will be translated in one go but if we are using interpreter the computer will translate one line at a time clear hai ya nahi hai yes sir okay compiler usually store the translated program object program on a storage medium ready to be executed later dekhiye there are two types of programs source program and object program right so compiler is stores the translated program that is called object program dekhiye the program which we type is a source program in the program which is translated by computer becomes object program remember source program kya hota hai source program is the program which is being written on the monitor screen and once you run the program computer translate the program and it will become object program theek hai so compilers use object programs and store them in order to execute it later likewise i am writing a program that is called source program right once i run my program computer translate it so it will become object program and compiler store the program so once we want it to use in the future we can easily use it theek hai so store kaise karta wo dekhte hain a loader program is needed to load the stored or translated program into the main memory before it can be executed like hamara program computer and store kar liya right once it is stored we wanted to use it so once we wanted to use it we need to load the program and the program is loaded by a loader program so loader program loads our program into the memory right and execute the program again so with the help of loader program we can use the program again and again theek hai so the stored translated program can be executed many times being retranslated iska kya matlab hai dekho it's very simple i stored my program i wanted to reuse my program so main apne program ko dobara run karta hu ab mera program jab dobara run hoga storage memory se to wo phir se translate nahi hoga wo direct screen screen par play ho jayega there is no need to retranslate the program again and again because it is already being translated by compiler kya ye clear hai yes sir isme koi aisa point jo aap confuse ho ke sir ye cheez samajh mein nahi aa rahi hai nahi sir aisa kuch nahi sir bas source program ki definition repeat kar rahe source program is a program written by the user on the screen and object program is a program after translation or execution you can say after execution both are same object program is a object program is a program which is written by the programmer okay sir right yes an object program yes अच्छा सोर्स प्रोग्राम के अंदर एक और चीज ऐड कर सकते हैं हम इट इज रिटर्न इन हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज इट इज रिटर्न इन हाई लेवल अच्छा ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोग्राम क्या होता है ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोग्राम इज अ प्रोग्राम विच इज बींग 
in a translated form like once you run the program your source program will be converted into object program because computer translate our program in ones and zeros so after translation our program will become object program right okay sir yes so object program definition na chalo so a program translated by an assembler or compiler is called object program a program which is translated by compiler or assembler is called object program so once we translate our program with the help of compiler right there is no need to translate or retranslate the program again and again okay now let's see interpreter with an interpreter no translated program is generated in main memory yes this is a important point dekhe once we translate our program with the help of compiler it stores in main memory isn't it and we can use it later but once we translate our program with the help of interpreter we cannot store our program in main memory for later use so every line in a program is interpreted then executed each time the program is run so once we run the program the program is translated we run the program again again the program is translated we run the program three times the program needs to be translated three times and each line at a time so this is the difference between interpreter and compiler compiler stores our program for later use interpreter do not store our program for our later use once we need to run the program interpreter translates one line at a time again and again clear hai yes sir okay high level language programs are machine independent portable and can be run on any type of computer chip provided there is a compiler or interpreter available okay we already know high level language programs are in the human language form they are easy to use but they these are the programs which are machine independent it means that they are not going to depend on machines like if you are going to use python you can use python in mobile in tablet in computer theek hai na so these types of program which can be used on any medium on any type of computer that are called machine independent theek hai they are portable it means they can be copy they can be uh, move from one computer to another easily for example look they have given you python example as well here for example python java vb are high level languages often used for teaching programming right okay this is a chart you need to go through by your own it's easy right it's a difference chart like assembler assembly language compiler high level language interpreter high level language number 2 they are machine dependent yes assemblers are machine dependent because they are not executable on any computer so they are very much machine dependent compiler are independent interpreters are also independent means they can be used in any type of computer so object program generated yes assembly language ya yeah, assemblers प्रोग्राम को जनरेट करने की सलाहियत रखते हैं ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोग्राम बनाते हैं और उसे स्टोर कर सकते हैं मेन मेमोरी में कंपाइलर भी ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोग्राम पर काम करते हैं आई टोल्ड यूर लियर बट इंटरप्रेटर्स आर नॉट गोइंग टू मेक एन ऑब्जेक्ट प्रोग्राम दे कैन ट्रांसलेट द प्रोग्राम अगेन एंड अगेन राइट एंड वन लाइन एट अ टाइम यस ईच लाइन ऑफ द सोर्स प्रोग्राम जनरेट अच्छा यानी कि क्या हर लाइन जनरेट होती है सोर्स प्रोग्राम में one machine code instruction one to one translation like assemblers are always used to translate one to one translation like word to word translation compiler many machine code instructions instructions explosion yani ke compiler to ek sath kai codes ko translate kar sakte hain okay many machine code instructions instruction explosion it means that interpreter and compilers both are working as a same translator in many cases 
लाइक यहां पर सोर्स प्रोग्राम जनरेट करने में ये दोनों क्या करते हैं मशीन कोड्स को एक साथ ट्रांसलेट करने की सलाहियत रखते हैं राइट right? लाइक like बहुत सारे मशीन कोड्स होते हैं उनको ट्रांसलेट करने की सलाहियत रखते हैं वैसे इंटरप्रिटर कंपाइलर ज्यादातर हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज इनटू मशीन कोड कन्वर्ट करते हैं और हाई लेवल लैंग्वेजेस में भी बहुत सारी जो कोड्स होते हैं उनको वन गो में कन्वर्ट करने की अहलियत रखते हैं ओके okay. अच्छा नाउ यू हैव टू कंप्लीट द प्रोस एंड कॉन्स ऑफ कंपाइलर और इंटरप्रीटर राइट इन योर होमवर्क गॉट इट अच्छा दीज आर द डिफरेंस लुक बिग चार्ट ऑफ अ डिफरेंस यू नीड टू राइट डाउन थ्री डिफरेंसेस ऑफ योर ओन विश राइट ठीक है सर नीचे लुक ओके सर ओके ग्रेट अच्छा अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज पार्शियल कंपाइलिंग एंड इंटरप्रेटिंग पार्शियल मींस व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय पार्शियल देखिए पार्शियल मींस अ स्पेसिफिक पार्ट नॉट द होल थिंग सो दीज टाइप ऑफ ट्रांसलेटर्स कैन डू ट्रांसलेट अवर प्रोग्राम पार्शियली एज वेल लाइक अ पार्ट सो लेट सी in order to achieve shorter execution times many high level language programs uses a system that is partially compilation and partially interpretation like if you wanted to translate your program more rapidly more quickly so there are many languages there are many high level languages which performs this job it means they can translate your program partially like not the whole program they just translate the specific part of the program so compiler and interpreter both options can be used the source code is checked and translated by a compiler into object code i think not clear what is source code what is object code the program written in a high yes. level language is a source code once you translate it it will be converted into object code isn't it yes okay so the compiled object code is a low level machine independent code acha dekhiye once you translate your program once you translate your source code it will be converted into object code right and that object code is a low level machine independent code of course once we translate our high level language program that program translated in low level language and that is called machine language so once the program is translated and converted into object code of course it is in a form of machine code and that is independent code independent program means you can use it in on any medium so that type of translation called intermediate code p code or byte code in examination you can get the question like what state the term p code so you should know that p code means the object compiled object code is a low level machine independent code and that is called p code or intermediate code to execute the program the object code can can be interpreted by an interpreter or compiler or compiled using a compiler so once you got your object code that is machine independent code that is called p code and that p code can then translate in a with the help of interpreter or compiler so both can be used in this case interpreter or compiler as a translator can be used to translate our object code or p code right this type of interpretation or translation or compilation is called partial compiling and interpret let's see for example java and python programs can be translated by a compiler into a set of instructions for a virtual machine these instructions called byte code and then interpreted by an interpreter dekhiye isme ho kya raha hai isme ho hi raha hai ki humne apna program banaya source code we translate it that translation convert our program into object code that object code of course it is in a form of machine independent code so this is called p code byte code or intermediate code 
after translating into machine language the computer translated with the help of interpreter or compiler so that type of translation is called partial translation and python and java are used for this purpose right and these instructions are also called byte code theek hai upar main bata chuka hu yahan par ye dekh sakte hain byte code kya hota hai acha so this is our example source code public class hello world acha we are using java here na so in java you need to specify the class word so once you write hello world theek hai then you write public static void main string it means that the data you use in your program is a string a string means alphabet then system dot out dot print ln print ln is used to print on the screen so once you write print ln along with inverted commas hello world you will get the same code on the screen right so this is a program source code acha now this is a compilation process you can you can see in compilation the computer is going to compile with the help of byte code it means it is turning the data into machine learning or machine code so compile kiya hello world code dot java kyunki java mein bana tha public class you use hello world and then look you are going to convert it in object public hello world so in this way the computer is going to translate our program again source code print hello world now this is python this is example of python look python is is much compressible as compared to java in java how many lines we write let's see again four lines we are going to write for printing hello world but in python we just write print hello world acha byte code isko kaise translate kar raha hai dekho bhai load kiya name print ke liye load kiya constant value jo bhi constant value hogi hamare paas hello world hai constant value because it is in it is in inverted commas aur aap dekhe phir isne call karwa diya function ko yani position keyword pair return value तो सिंपल अगर मैं इन शॉर्ट बात करता हूं तो हेलो वर्ल्ड हमारे पास एक सोर्स कोड था बाइट कोड ने इसको मशीन कोड में कन्वर्ट किया और आप देख सकते हैं जीरो जीरो वन यानी इस तरह से मशीन लैंग्वेज में कन्वर्ट हो जाते हैं स्टेटमेंट्स सो दिस इज हाउ द इंटरप्रीटर एंड कंपाइलर वर्क्स फॉर अ पार्शियल इंटरप्रिटेशन और कंपाइलेशन 